Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me in the wonderful fishing tackle and bait in Doncaster and today what we're going to do is have a look at a few margin poles. Now it's coming into that season and there's new poles out, uh, I haven't got every pole um, that's out there but there's new poles and there's older poles that are still brand new but the older versions that you can get a really good deal on so I want to tell you uh, show you a few show you a few and the different price ranges different lengths different packages but we'll go into that and I think it's important that um, your objective and not always the new ones the best one if you most people that get a margin pole are gonna have it as a, as a second pole to to use down the edge or they're just going to use it solely because they don't want to hold a longer length so it's really important that you make the right decision and there's lots um ranging from around 200 quid um that i've got here up up to about 450. so it, it, again it depends uh which one you want to do maybe the 450 is the one if you were just solely using that pole but you wanted it light enough to do other things but you just do, you didn't want a long pole so we'll go into that when we're on there um, I've got six different poles here. What I'm going to do quickly is just grab the phone because um, I've just snapped a little bit of information around all of them first because um, I'm never going to remember that all off my head. Um, but we will obviously go in close and look down the poles. We're picking up the poles uh, and we'll give you my, um, my verdict on it. So I'll just grab the old phone here. Um, so today, the poles that we've got, uh, like I said, we've got a selection. So the first one I've got is here is a browning uh, Zyton Extreme Margin Revolution and that's a 9.5 meter and that's at the higher end of this um, set of poles that we've got here which is about 450 um, so it's supplied with a fitted uh, and two spare large bar pull pull up power kit so obviously it's aimed at, at catching those big fish um, we, we, you know takes up to the heaviest elastic so it's 28 uh, row on there so you know it's some big old um, fish um, sorry 20 up there and um, so 20 20 elastic usually is going to be good enough to land anything that you're going to come across now we'll talk about all the specs when we've got it in his hand and uh, the next one aside of that is the 8.5 meter TKS power margin and that's 8.5 meters and that's 170 quid so uh, the cheapest i think of the ones that i've got here um and this is rated up to 20 again uh, one pre-bushed a depth marker v1 power kit and one pretty much depth that um v1 power kit as an additional so it comes with those two kits i've got side pull pullers and things like that um comes in a bag and tubes so nice little package for for that money now this is one the pole that i've had myself absolutely love it and that's the map 1001 uh, 3g and um, that's a cracking pole 10.2 meters um and price wise it's 482.99 so probably up there again with one of the most expensive that we've got on the rack prices may vary of course um that's supplied with uh, a v4 power kit and another additional v4 power kit as well uh, big bar kits um up to 20 elastic so it, it comes with a bag and and tubes it is a beast um i, I love it and obviously it interchanges with all the smaller uh, shallow kits and things like that so if you did get it as your all-rounder pole and you just didn't want to fish long lengths it'd be stiff enough to have your shallow kits to fish for f1s and all sorts of stuff like that and the next one here is a uh, version one of the mtx 8.7 uh, matrix margin now I, i've only got the version one um, and again we're talking about it because it's um within a good price range sometimes you can get the version ones a little cheaper because the version twos are out um so we're going to go through that today that one's uh, 200 quid um and like i said 8.7 meters um let's have a look uh, power kits uh, contains two power kits uh, so you know it, it's, it's it's bang in line with what everybody else is going one of my old favourites, uh, the Midi M2, um, around the 199 to 200 pound bracket, uh, 10 meter, comes with two kits, one's a shadow kit, um, really strong um, and does take an absolute pounding um, and at 10 meters takes some beating for its price. So it'd be interesting to, to see um, what, what that goes against. XM10. Uh, which is over this side is another midi pole again something I've, I've owned before about 370 quid um, and that one comes with two carp two 
Max 25 kits and a Match 16 kit with it. So it's got a little lighter kit if you're going to do buy it for that all-rounder stuff, um, and then two heavier kits with a big boy elastic to tackle. And by the way, that M M2 out of all of them takes 30, which is nuts. So let's spin the camera. Let's hold them all up. Um, have a little waggle. Change the angle. Have a waggle down the other end and try and talk about why and what we would buy them for uh, and verdicts um, on them right guys so this will be a little bit of a different video and i'm going to start off saying always come and sit if you can come and sit every poll every person is different like i always say in every video what works for me might not work for you and it's really important that you understand that polls are subjective just like cars and you know you need to come and try them for yourself if you can do it but i try to do them in the shop to give you my honest feedback and it always will be honest um, to make sure that i give you the most informed information from my point of view so with that we're going to start with the higher end pricings and the reason we're going to start the higher end pricing is because i want to talk about um why they are um more higher priced and, and in my opinion why that can be different so we're going to start with the map 1001 now this is a pole that i've um owned myself um but that doesn't make me non-biased because obviously that makes me biased sorry non-biased not biased because i have obviously like anything i've used many many different so this is a higher price range um over the 400 bracket now the first thing I will say to you is that it's a very strong pole. Um, it, it's not the lightest pole that's going to be here, for sure, even though it is um, expense, most expensive. It's around 10.2 metres. Um, everything's cut to the same length, all the kits are the same length. Like most of these, you don't get cuffing kits, you just get an additional kit. But what you do get with this is it's super, super responsive. <coughs> sorry super responsive and super strong um, and at its length at 10.2 meters you are going to be able to hold this all day but you know that you can handle pretty much anything you hook the thing that i like about this and when it comes to this bracket is that you are opening it up to do multiple types of fishing um, so if you were buying this pole and you were just not doing margin fishing you were doing other types of fishing then this benefits you you can get match kits and additional things so it could be our all-rounder you just don't maybe you just don't want to fish at mega length and 10.2 meters will cover most things in a commercial um venue so the next one is this zyton 9.5 meter margin extreme revolution pole it's a mouthful um and i've already picked this up putting it onto the rack and it felt incredible um bra browning poles generally are really really good um i'm just gonna lift it up it is f it, it this is hard to explain but it is strong it feels super strong but it's proper light um now again the, the the tip's quite springy now and that's not necessarily a bad thing um with a margin pole you want bend in it when you hook the fish um you want to be able to to, to bend it's not springy that you're going to be shaking it all over to, to try and put your rig in the water um it's very direct um and and the, and the reaction but when you you feel it go back it's not bouncy it's springy um and i think that's great for hitting those quick bites um i could imagine this would be great for shallow fishing additionally as well um flicking over i can't really do it in the shop but you can see it's got that sort of flicky kind of action but also it takes up to 20 elastic and it's going to be super strong so again this is what i mean in with a slightly more expensive you are paying for a better carbon but you're also paying for multiple different outlets now again this is um a pole that i've had before the xm10 now i love this pole me this is a great pole it is mega mega stiff and it and it feels proper strong um and would definitely be on my high list at mid 300s um be on my high list of buying um yes midis um sometimes difficult to get uh, spare sections and things that's uh, spare top kits and stuff like that but you know so is the world at the moment so for me this is 
definitely a contender because it sits in a balance of not the mega expensive but not also the cheapest that we've got here and it's it's so responsive i love the kits because they're short um and again you could fish this easily on different methods and if you have a look on angling for you on our other reviews you will see a review on that as you will do that 1001 fishing on the bank um so that's that's the three slightly more expensive now like like i said i've split them into three and three because of what i was saying you, if you were you have a come from a margin pole for two regions you come from margin pole because you don't want to hold a longer length but you want it to do everything or you you buy it for its use and to drag pe things out of the edge um so it's important that, the, that i separate the bracket in um, and i believe those three on the left could be interchanged with any that anything like that um and i'm not saying that the others can't but the little bit higher price bracket gives it the little bit of uh, lightness um, that, that you would expect with with that higher carbon. So holding now the MTX power, sorry, not the MTX power, the margin uh, power from uh, MAP. Now 8.5 meters. What you find straight away in the hand is it's so tiny in its in its circumference compared to the others. Um, but this is the the cheaper of of the range um and you can tell um it, it is it does feel heavy and it does feel strong um but it there's more bounce to it right so there is my thing on margin poles unless it's dire a little bit of bounce is fine um as long as you can strike now margin poles are meant to bend uh, you know, for big fish, for dragging out snags, it, it, it's meant to it's meant to bend. So that doesn't really bother me too much. Um, and for the for the price of you know like one like one seventy, it's you know it's pretty decent. Um, next one, this is the MTX power MTX margin. Um, now. This is version one. The new one is out. When I get uh, oh, my hands on that, I'll get my hands on it. Um, and I know that this has been a big seller uh, for Matrix, a um, couple of hundred quid, and it feel it feels great. It's really stiff. The the, the, the reaction is great. Like you're tapping it, and you know the recovery is really good on it. It's not light, but it's not heavy. It's so it feels strong in the hand. Um, that's actually quite quite decent if I'm honest um, I'd like to see it on the bank um, it's not I, don't, I wouldn't say it were too stiff that you can't bend but at, at a couple of hundred quid this could quite easily be um, a contender for some of the more expensive poles for for you know using as an every day the only downside is is obviously the length if you want in a little bit longer length this is let's have a look what's length on this bad boy yeah uh, 8.7 meters sorry so this one's a little bit shorter but feels does feel great so if you want in obviously 10 meters and you want it for an all-rounder then it, you need some a little bit longer um, but we are going to review um, the MTX one uh, I believe so we can see you know where that where that takes us now the m2 um is something that I, i've availed i've used and i mean i don't think there's many poles better for 200 quid for what this does at 10.2 meters uh, as you can see it's stiff the bounce the reaction is good i've tested it on big fish so i know it can handle big fish but the other thing is um it takes up to 30 elastic so you can drag up to munters in now this does not this pole does not um interchange with their their main range of poles um it, it's it's not the same top kit so i don't know if you could get a match kit for it i don't know that so that that that's the only thing to think about i, I don't know off the top of my head if you can um but let's flick back onto main camera um, and and have a little bit of a chat about it. Right guys, so every single pole I picked up there was pretty decent. Um, the only one that I felt 
I'd, I'd, I'd sort of discard would be the map margin, um, the power margin, 8.5. Although I know you can get additional kits for it and things like that. 170 quid, it's not a million miles away from paying for an MTX uh, margin or an M2. Um, and my money would be on either of those. Uh, I just feel that it's, it's better um than that i think that those two are better than it um and worth that extra couple of quid now this is where it breaks the decision so with the matrix i think this um, in fact i know it does interchange with the main mtx poles which gives it a little advantage over the midi um for top kits so for a couple of hundred quid it depends on your feel now if you want the out and out strength um, and knowing that you're never going to break it you need the m2 there's nothing better at personally for my opinion there's nothing better than the mtx2 at that range i think it's just an absolute donkey um, and it'll, it'll you'll land anything on it if you want in a little bit of finesse but still got power then that mtx margin is absolutely version one is absolutely bob on for 200 quid um, so that's where i am with just these obviously there's other poles out there there's loads and loads and loads more but i'm just going on what we've got here with us today so you know there's coal mix and there's census and there's mavers and there's all sorts so diowa but this is just what we got here when it goes to the free the m m uh, xm10 the Zion, uh, and the 1001 my money's with that xm10 um, I know that MIDI's got a great range of top kits to interchange with this one, with it being reactor core, which won't change with the M2, but if you were wanting it for fishing up to 10 metres and additionally uh, wanting to catch big fish, you could interchange the top kits with it and, and do all of that. Um, I had that against with my X Z65 and all my top kits interchanged changed with it. So again, if you just want a day where you want to sit short, and catch down a track then you know then that that's where my money is um out of those three um with the 1001 the zion and the xm10 don't get me wrong any of those are still brilliant and still great um and you know I, I, there's nothing wrong with those if that's what you want in my opinion because you can get the different kits for that and it's slightly longer that is where my money would go in that xm10 so just in uh, conclusion in a higher price bracket for an everything involved if if we're in a higher slightly bracket for the little bit lighter and and, and does everything xm10 for me out of these is where i'm going to go if i want in um to spend a couple of hundred quid uh, and i either getting into pole fishing or i wanted some that will you know sort me out uh, and never break on me then i'm getting that midi m2 but then if i wanted to get a couple additional kits um, and I still want to pay 200 quid then that MTX margin is where my money would go so a little bit of a right here again that's version one not version two I, I, I'll get to that when I when I get it hopefully that gives you a little bit of information it's a minefield with margin poles um, and there's like I said many many more out there additionally so do keep your eyes out and again it's my opinion so um you know that we like to keep it unbiased um so thank you very much for watching if you want to join us on the facebook group angling for you or join us on the instagram angling underscore for you and join the angling for you family if you want to see anything else look on the youtube videos on the playlist and until the next one guys thank you very much for watching tight lines